Hello, everyone. Uh, in this lecture, we are taking one more example for the Moore machine. And uh, this same question is very simple that it is asking us to design a Moore machine wherein we take the binary number as the input and produce the uh, modulo of that binary number uh, by taking the uh, divisor as 3. For example, if I am taking a binary number whose uh, equivalent is 7, then if I take 7 mod 3, so this should produce the answer 1. Similarly, if I take the 11 as a binary number, then the 11 mod 3, 2 should come as the output. So this kind of the question has already been solved by us uh, in the DFA. So we will take uh, that instinct only to solve this kind of the problem. So since modulo 3 is uh, considered, then uh, the uh, number of states in the DFA will be 3. So what uh, I hope you remember that um, Let's say I'm designing the DFA. There will be three states where A will be the start state and A will be the final state. And uh, the table is designed like this, A, B, C, and then A, B, C, just in the sequence. So first state, second state, and third state, and then first state, second state, and the third state. Okay, so this is the transition table that we have designed. So after designing the transition table, I can draw the transition diagram also. So let's say A is the state after taking the zero symbol, you go to state A, I'm sorry, correct. Right, correct. A, when you take a small zero, or sorry, the zero symbol, you remain at state number A. By getting a one, you will move to state number B. By getting a symbol zero in state number B, you should move to state C. And if you get the symbol, one in the B, you should come to the state A. In C, on getting a symbol zero, you should come to state number B. And if you get a symbol one, you should remain at state number C. And now if it were a DFA, then A will be the final state. So let's take some examples to understand this. Let's say we are taking some of the binary numbers, the four digit binary numbers, for example, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, 1, 0, 0, 1, 1, 1, 1, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, 1, and then 1, 0, 1, 0, and 1, 0, 1, 1. So this is the equivalent of 0. This is the equivalent of 1. This is the equivalent of 2. This is the equivalent of 3 in decimal. Similarly, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. And this one is the 11. So let us take 0. So uh, 0 is the number which is divisible by 3. So the answer should be zero in your case. One mod three will be one. And then two mod three will be two. Three mod three will be zero. Four mod three will be one. Five mod three will be two. Six mod three will be zero. Seven mod three will be one. Eight mod three will be two. And uh, nine mod three will be zero. 10 mod three will be one. And 11 mod three will be two. So I take randomly any one, then let's see if uh, this produces the correct output. Let's say I'm taking this 0, 0, 1, 1. So 0, 0, 1, 1. I should remain at state number A. I'm thinking of that A is actually giving us the output 0, means number modulo 3 is 0. Similarly, if number modulus 3 is giving us 1, I should remain at state number B. And if number modulo 3 is giving us uh, 2, then I should remain at state number 2. This is my instinct and let's see if this instinct is correct. So 0, 0, 1, 1 is the equivalent of 3. I should remain at state number A. So when I am at state number A, by getting A, I should remain at state A. By getting another A, I should remain at state A. By getting 1, I should go to state B. And by getting again 1, I will come back to state number A. So that means A state is representing the out, uh, the remainder with 3, uh, modulus 3 is 0. 
So remainder comes zero. So output associated with this state number A is zero. Let's test it for uh, uh, the number that gives us the output one. For example, zero triple one is the input, let's say. So the transition A on zero remains at A. A on one goes to B. B on one goes to A. And A on one goes to B. So B is the state where should I land up and B should be associated with the output one because seven mod three is one. Similarly, the state number C, let's test any number for the remainder, uh, remainder two. Let's say we have a number one triple zero. That means eight. Let's start the transition. So with the symbol A on getting us one, I will go to state B. With zero at B, I'll move to state C. And then with zero, I will move to B. And with the another zero, I'll move to C. So C is the state where, where I should land up after one triple zero. One triple zero is eight and eight mod three is two. So the output associated with the state number C should be two. So this is the finite automata that will actually generate uh, the given number modulus three. Uh, but obviously, uh, I'm not getting the uh, output two only in the case of one triple zero. If this is the more machine, I'll be getting some more output also. So whatever is the last output produced, that is the answer. For example, let's take the transition with this more machine for one triple zero. So I start with A, the output produced is zero. With one, I move to B and output produced is one. With zero, I move to C and output two is produced in Z on zero. I move to state B and one is produced. And with another zero, I move to state C where two is produced. So whatever is the last output, that is our answer. I don't care about these outputs. So the, only the last output that I produced is our uh, desired answer. Right. So similar question can be designed for any of the board machine. For example, if I'm taking a tertiary number, tertiary number means it means uh, the tertiary number will contain the input alphabets 0, 1, and 2. And let's say I'm taking the mod with 4. So tertiary number mod with 4. It means the number of states in the automator that, that I designed will be 4. Why 4? Because one state will uh, represent 0 output, another one 1, another one 2, and another one 3. So remainder 0, remainder 1. A remainder two and remainder three. So let's design the DFA for this. So when I have to design the DFA, I'll design the transition table first. So what are the input symbols here? The input symbols will be zero, one, and two because this is the tertiary number, not the binary number. How will I write the states? A, B, C, D, and again A, B, C, D, and again A, B, C. And D. So the automata has been designed. This is the start state, and A will be the final state. Since I have to design more machine, not the uh, not the uh, DFA. In that case, there will be no final state. That's why I have removed the final state A. What will be the output function? So A will be associated with zero. B will be associated with one. It means the remainder one. C will be associated with the remainder two, and D will be associated with a remainder three. So this is the transition table for the Moore machine that not only shows the transition function, but it also shows the output function also. Fine. So this is very simple to design. If you have already seen my lectures on the DFA, you will have the clarity about how to design the Moore machine for these kind of the problems. And so this is the tertiary number. So the input alphabets will be 0, 1, 2. And since we are taking the modulus of the tertiary number with 4, the remainders that can come may be 0, 1, 2, 3. That's why the number of states are 4. So A, B, C, D are the states, let's say. And how to design the transition table? You just write the A, B, C, D in the sequence. So A, B, C, D, again A, B, C, D, and again A, B, C, D. So this has become actually the transition function. So this is very simple to design. And similar questions will be taken in, taken in this subsequent lectures for the Moore machine. Thanks for watching this video.